Hi Raoul, welcome to our conference. It's always a pleasure to have you here. Asha, it's my pleasure to be here, as always. So Rahul is with uh, Cambrios Technologies. They are doing uh, some great stuff on uh, using silver nanowires to make transparent conductive films. Very low sheet resistance and also very flexible. But the market for TCFs is at a very interesting time. Uh, and many say that this year is uh, the make or break year for alternatives to ITO because Nitodenko and others have moved fast, increased production capacity, etc. What's your view? So Kasha, I completely agree. Uh, it's a very exciting time to be in the transparent conductor market. Um, in, in, in what we are seeing with our customers is this is the year that they are really ramping mm. up. So we are, our customers are adding capacity. We believe uh, they're gaining market share and we see more and more products in the end market. And that's what makes us confident that our technology is going to grow yes. in this market yes. significantly. Yes. And there are many companies that offer IT alternatives, you know, metal mesh, graphene, etc. And there are also many companies nowadays increasing more by the day almost that offer silver nanowires. Right. So what's unique about you? And uh, do you think in five years' time the industry is going to consolidate and there are going to be fewer alternative players in the market? So Kasha, um, certainly this is a very exciting market, right? right? Uh, whenever the market is exciting, there are many players who jump yes. in. So Cambrius has been doing this for a very long time. Yes. Uh, we are a 12-year-old company and we've been focused on the transparent conductor market since 2005. Mm -hmm. So that gives us a lot of knowledge. So it takes a long time to bring a new technology into the market. Mm -hmm. um, and we have the expertise built up, built up over the last decade to address this market, to address the whole ecosystem, to make sure that our products are successful in the market. Uh, as you said, there are many silver nanowire companies coming into the market, and, and that's okay. They're seeing our success and they're trying to test the waters and see if they can be successful. In terms of technologies, I think there is a lot of down selection happening already. Uh, so really there are two technologies that are gaining market share. Uh, there's the silver nanowires and there's also metal mesh to some extent, right? So we see that metal mesh and silver nanowires will take the market away from uh, uh, ITO in the transparent conductor markets, and all these will have their place in the market uh, and, and will each have their own share. Um, and we continue to look at how the markets will evolve mm -hmm. and we feel very confident that silver nanowires have a bright future because of the changes happening in the mobile market. For example, some of the trends you're seeing is really high resolution displays, right? Since Apple introduced the Retina displays now, everybody is moving to very high resolution displays which require very small pixels. And that is very compatible with nanowires. Uh, it's, it's harder to match metal mesh to something like that. And flexibility is key. And as you said, nanowires are very flexible. So we see the future trends in the market will drive more and more demand towards highly conducting, flexible and transparent electrodes like nanowires. Right. Uh, and you know, there are a lot of price pressures in the, in the business. And you know that there are many low cost providers of mobile phone, uh, tablets, etc. Yeah. The industry is shifting. Uh, so price is key, and also the incumbent providers have slashed their prices. So what is your pricing strategy? So in terms of pricing, you're absolutely right. We have seen the ITO film price come down by about a factor of four over the last five years. Okay. Uh, at the same time, our customers are very profitable. Uh, the processes used with our materials are very, very cost effective, and the cost of a nanowire based product is much lower than that of ITO. Uh, in addition to that, uh, our technology offers benefits to customers, which allows them to make end products much cheaper. Uh, for example, the high conductivity right, that you mentioned. High conductivity is becoming very important even in small size displays now. Uh, the trend, as you rightly pointed out, is the big growth in the market is now in the China market and in the India market. It's the low cost market, right? And the low cost market requires a low cost sensor. So with ITO, you need two layers to make a touch sensor for a five inch, six inch, seven inch device. With the nanowires, because of the high conductivity, we can allow sensors to be made with just one, one film. So compare a price of two layers of ITO film versus one layer of the nanowire film, and that is where the real price benefits to the end customer start coming in. So it's not just cost of the film that is important, 
It's the cost of the finished product that is important and we are really enabling low cost end products. Excellent, Raoul. Thank you. It's always a pleasure to speak to you and it's always a pleasure to have you. Same here, Kasha. I always enjoy coming to Printed Electronics and thank you for organizing this great show. Thank you very much. Right. Thank you.